there Scorpios and welcome back for another one and another one and another one and another one yeah another love reading Scorpios I'm fresh out the gym I'm so fresh and so clean clean let me get you some light so Scorpio this is another general love reading this is for who is secretly crushing you and why whoever it is they want to look at that look 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 look, look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. would you look at this would you look passion and desire yeah so this is ain't this something see see spirit is in here because i just this, i'd already said this is what your reading is who is secretly crushing on you or spying on you and why somebody want to talk to you come and talk to me i really want to meet you Come and talk to me. It says, interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrives, text, call, email, hovering. So this could be somebody that you exchange numbers with and they keep on checking their phone. Like today I met a guy, a guy who I used to see out and he was so freaking persistent. I swear I bet you he Aquarius because I'm getting Aquarius energy. He's such a, I mean, he's, he's not my type at all, but he did get my attention when he began to, to, to remind me that we had shot pool together. And I'm like, dang, so I ended up giving him my number, y'all, where he called me through his phone. And then I thought about it, I'm like, Dan, please don't be no boogaboo because I will block you. But at least I got a partner to go shoot pool with. Ah, go me, go me. So no more excuses. I got a pool partner now, God dang it. So ex who, <laughs> uh, yeah. So passion, it says insane chemistry, like each other equally having fun. So this is what is, this is what somebody wants to have fun with you, Scorpio. They want to talk to you. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. To be somebody checking you out on social media through a fake account. So I write spirit who is secretly crushing on Scorpio and why. They want to take you out. That's why. Insane chemistry. This could be somebody here who you like or they like or both receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues mask okay so let's see somebody has not been revealing to you that they're digging you is what i feel so let's see who is this person that's crushing on you and why page of wands could be a leo sagittarius or aries you got that page of wands energy. That's your overall energy. Some exciting, passionate news, uh, fun. It could be a person that's a little bit younger or this is just uh, a flirty, uh, somebody gonna say, what's up, the shawty? I, I see you, I, oh, I see you. I, I see you been working out, little mama. I, I see everything about you. Oh yeah, I sees you. Yes, I sees everything about you. Are you married? Do you got a man? Who is this happy man? Are you happily married? Because I, I think I could take you from him. Ooh, Scorpio, they talking ish. This may be a fire sign. Oof. But yeah, needless to say, the guy that I met at the store, I don't feel no physical attraction. So if that's what he thinking, he gonna get his feelings hurt. I don't mean no harm, but that's just where I'm at. I can go hang out with you. Ten of Pentacles, ooh. It could be a wealthy person, a wealthy, uh, uh, what they call a boss baby. Somebody may have somebody who has inherited a lot of money. Maybe you got somebody, maybe you finna get a message that you got some money coming in. Or somebody wants to offer you something or this is what they're seeing. Somebody looking at you like, like y'all could go the distance, like, like y'all could really, you know, build a lot of things together. Spirit, who is secretly crushing on Scorpios and why? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. The Hierophant could be an institution. It could be, look, look, that go to Queen of Pentacles and that go to Emperor. Mm. You may have a boss checking you out or somebody wants to put, may feel like you guys can really collaborate and, and do some, could be a Sagittarius, an Aries, Taurus. Somebody see you as marriage material. Somebody say that you got you got you you very business minded and they like that. 
It could be some type of major corporation or some major uh, business that's checking you out online because they, they feel like they're interested in you. It could be somebody that's reached out to you, but you haven't responded. But somebody's attracted to you. The hermit it could be a Virgo. Who is secretly crushing on Scorpio? We heading into cancel season, see? They trying to see is you single? I wanted a cancel season start today. Could be somebody from your past. Mm. <laughs> oh, somebody keep looking at their phone. Somebody you dealing with keep looking at their phone if, they, if you already know them. I'm getting earth energy. Somebody could be checking you out to see if you're single because they want to date you to a source, but you're not paying them any attention. Strong soulmate energy. Ooh, la, la, la. Aries energy, the fool. And they go to freaking magician card. Could be a Pisces and look who underneath, oh, look who underneath the bottom. The king of cups. I wonder if this you, two of pentacles. King of one, oh, you, I did see the emperor. So this is them. Now you could be dealing with the water sign. I think this is cancer season. I will be doing a cancer reading after this one. So you have the two of cups. That's it. <laughs> you got the two of cups, cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You got the king of cups. You got the hermit, the ten of pentacles, Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles, the Her Hierophant, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You have the Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, the Fool, Aries, with the Page of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So it could be any of those signs. You do got the Hierophant and the Magician and the Fool and the Hermit. So this is somebody here who is um, trying to seek out, trying to figure out who you are or are you dating someone? It could be somebody from your past that's trying to figure out who, how, to, how are you spending your time. You may not be, it could be somebody from your past that's trying to figure out how are you spending your time because you're not giving them that type of attention anymore. It could also represent somebody that you don't know that's trying to see if you are single and available. Somebody is studying you. Like I feel like somebody may be trying to talk to you under a fake account. And they just waiting on you to respond to them. Somebody may be saying uh, flirty things just to get your attention. Now, if this is somebody who you already know, they waiting on you to talk to them. Somebody may feel like receiving what you need, moving on, closure issues. Like, it could be somebody here who still has not moved on from you. It could be an Aries, a Pisces. Hierophant, a Taurus, Virgo. So let's see. The person secretly crushing on Scorpios and the reason. If it's somebody from your past, the reason why they stalk you is because they still are attracted to you. And they're trying to see what you're doing with your time, god dang it. Somebody could be passing by your house late at night, but, it, but they still don't have clarity. If it's somebody that you know. For some of you guys, you may have multiple people checking you out. Somebody that's coming in with something serious. It could be the same energy. Somebody checking you out and, and they, they, they just starstruck. God dang it. They see you and they don't want to see nothing else. Now, now they're trying to figure out how can they obtain this two of cups. Somebody's trying to figure out how can they get you. How can they get your attention? Somebody say if they get your attention, all they need is one chance. They ain't worried about nothing, see? They go to mad, seven of swords. They don't want you to know this, though. Somebody looking, they go to king of wands. They don't want you to know that they're, that they're stalking you, Scorpios. Why is the two of swords here for Scorpio's secret crush? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, what's up with this? 
indecision, refusing to see some, ignoring something, ignoring the signs. I feel like they, they may feel like, or they're not seeing something. They're, they they want to know. Because you got the nine of pentacles. They still are not sure. Somebody could be passing by your house and don't see what they what they want to see. And they're just still unsure. Like, damn, every time I pass by here, I know you single. I don't never see nobody over here. I don't never hear about you. I don't never see no picture. I don't never see nothing. What is really going on with you? <laughs> they scratching their head like, what the heck? But they forgot they're dealing with Scorpio, obviously. Two of swords. See? Ten of Pentacles, there it is again. Somebody may be feeling like you must have already got somebody, see? The Hierophant. That's why you ain't went back to them, Six of Cups, but they're the ones having closure issues. That's why they steady stalking you. See? Ace of Pentacles, y'all got a new opportunity coming y'all way, Scorpio. Or maybe they are trying to figure out if you have had something better come your way. Somebody may be looking at you like they, whatever they didn't do for you, they know you didn't get it from somebody else because you ain't calling them for nothing, Scorpio. Ooh. Why is the hermit here for the Scorpio secret question 1111? Why is the hermit here? Introspection, soul searching. See, they soul search. Ain't that some stuff? Two of Cups. Knight of Wands and a Magician. See there, you got the Magician card twice. See? And there go Judgment. See? Somebody's doing a lot. Somebody's been doing a lot of soul searching and introspection, Scorpios. And obviously, it's about this connection because you got the Two of Cups, the Magician and the Knight of Wands, followed by Judgment. So you know what they're choosing. See? And there go the Queen of Pentacles. Like I say, you got the Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Somebody's coming in your life to offer you a stable, solid relationship. Something that you can rely on and depend on and trust and believe. Now, I ain't saying you're supposed to rely and trust on everybody, but God damn, you got a Two of Cups. Y'all supposed to lean on each other. You're supposed to pour into each other's cups. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Now they could be looking at you as your whole, you're detached, you're holding back, you're focusing on your, your, your independence, you're doing your own thing. So what is this person? What, what do they want? Who is this crush? The secret crush of Scorpios with the magician. Oh, clarify the magician. Pisces energy. Somebody wants it bad. That's the second time the magician card. You got it twice. The magician, the hangman, see? Because somebody feels like somebody gonna have to make a move or ain't nothing gonna happen. Once again, somebody's perception is changing. Somebody's being enlightened. Somebody's focus and view is not the same. Somebody could be looking like, you know what? I thought I didn't want this, but now I realize I do. Things change. Somebody's finally making up their mind, it seems like, that they want to explore this connection on a serious level. See, they go to Eight of Pentacles. See, that's what they're focusing on. This is somebody here who works a lot, but please believe you on their mind. So for some of y'all, this person has been procrastinating. Even though you stand on this person's mind, they still procrastinating. So that's why they watch you. Why is the magician here for Scorpio? The person secretly crushing on Scorpio. What's this about? The Pi you got the Pisces, Pisces. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. And they go to seven of swords in the reverse. Now it's coming out in the reverse and they go to devil. Four wands, death, sun. I told you this person is being enlightened. Now, this person may be going through a, a major realization and awakening about a lot of things, not just you, but that seven of swords can mess up anything. It could have been that somebody is regretting that 
they were manipulative or um, taking advantage of your kindness, taking treating your kindness for weakness, taking advantage of you. Five of Wands. Conflict. Confusion. Once again, whoever this person is, Scorpio, I feel like maybe they got other people in they be in their ear. Or maybe this is inner see, because they go to nine of pentacles. So this person wasn't a team player. It's like everything that they messed around and lost, perhaps somebody is thinking about how they want it and how how they approach. It's like how they treated their relationship. No wonder. No wonder you're going to move away from this. Somebody could have been uh, listening to their ego, listening to their friends. Once again, it's what I'm getting. But like I say here, this person is worried that maybe you've started over somewhere else. Or maybe this person was denying. This person could have been ignoring your needs in this connection. But that Ace of Pentacles is here. So your person could be feeling like there's unfinished business between the two of you. Maybe there's a discussion that needs to be had. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for the person crushing on Scorpio? Who is this Nine of Pentacles? You got the Nine of Pentacles twice. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. The Wheel of Fortune. See, something is changing. Something is changing in somebody's status is what I feel like. Because you got the Nine of Pentacles. Or is it somebody's mind is changing from what they were? Somebody could be saying, you know what? I've been single. I, maybe I could try something out. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles twice. I feel like somebody was more worried about their freedom and their independence and getting their money. Somebody, somebody was focused on themselves. So now they're checking you out because they're still attracted to you. They're hoping you reach out to them because obviously you're not talking. Two of Pentacles. King of Wands. Nine of Swords. Maybe this person was in, in their ego and their pride. Maybe this person didn't know what they wanted. Maybe this person felt like they couldn't. I feel like this person here, if they've been indecisive, they're, they're, all of that's coming to an end. They go to Three of Cups and the Devil card. This person could have been um, in between. This person could have been dating other people and not know what they want. Could have been one of those people who wanted their cake and eat it too. But it just seemed like this person, after all of the games they play, out of all the mess, out of all the stuff that happened, they're still wanting to come back but see now I feel like this is you this nine of pentacles right here because they're not sure if you are still single or not that's why you got that two of swords somebody is thinking that maybe you found somebody else now you may have found somebody else because maybe they were not giving in to this connection and maybe you had all you could take and maybe you moved on so I feel like in a sense they're trying to figure out if you're still single Somebody may be feeling like, you know, something has changed with you, that maybe you're no longer single. And I feel like somebody wants to know, but they're not, they're not gaining clarity. It's not for them to know. Seven of Wands here. They could be looking at you like you're blocking it. That's why I feel like this person feels like if you're doing everything in your power to keep them away, then they feel like it must be somebody else. Because they can understand if it is because maybe they didn't do right. So now you have the Page of Wands. What's up with Scorpio's secret crush with this Page of Wands? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Why is the Page of Wands here? Secret crush and been watching, probably been flirting with you, uh, <laughs> flirting with you with, a, with gaslighting you, acting like you, they don't know you, and they're trying to see who you're going to respond. Page of Wands. Eight of Cups. They go to Eight of Cups, though. Somebody may have felt like you walked away because they were acting very, very immature. Maybe that's all they was talking. Maybe they had uh, immature conversations. Maybe they couldn't express themselves correctly. Maybe the only thing they was focusing on was just irrelevant things. 
Ace of Cups. Like I said, I feel like somebody feel like you done went somewhere else and started over somewhere else. That go to death card, you, followed by the Eight of Cups, I mean the Ace of Cups. That's what somebody feel. That's why they watching you under fake illnesses or fake, fake, fake avatars or fake names. So you walked away from this person because they wasn't giving much and they were not matching your energy. They were just very childish. Probably never really took the relationship serious. So now they feel like maybe you started off over with somebody else. They want to come back, though. Page of Pentacles, see? So somebody may reach out to you with some type of offer. You see, it's still a page coming in. Maybe it's because they don't, they're not too sure. Somebody's afraid you're going to get better, Scorpio. I feel like whoever this person is, their biggest fear is that you're going to find somebody better than them when they know that they could have did right by you, but they didn't. I feel like somebody knows that you you deserve better and they feel like you can get it and they're, they are afraid that you're going to actually outdo them or get something better. Why is the fool here for the Scorpio secret crush? That's what it is. Somebody's afraid you're going to find somebody better because it's going to make them feel some type of way because they know they had the opportunity and they dropped it. So now they watching you for all the reasons they didn't want you. Now they not now they watching you to see if, if you somebody else gonna give you what they didn't give you. The fool, you got the world in the reverse. So this this person ain't learned nothing. They go they go to tout, they go to devil card. Or well, this person see this person see this person feel left out in the cold now. I feel like this person, I feel like this person kind of do want to start over with you, but they could be looking at you like you have started over somewhere else. They're feeling, they're feeling the distance between the two of you. That's what it is. The distance that they created in this King of Swords energy. Didn't want to commit. Nine of Pentacles. All about them. Not being honest. Why is the two of cups here? And it's a soulmate. What's up with this secret soulmate with this two of cups of Scorpios? Why are they secretly keeping tabs and crushing and watching Scorpio? What's this about? Two of cups. Mm. Five of swords. See? See there? So it's like, what's love got to do with it? Got to do with it. Who needs a heart when the heart can be broken? So for some of y'all, y'all was like, it, it was like it's a lot of conflict in this connection with the two of cups and the five of swords, a lot of mind games, a lot of games. And you know that that should not have been. So this could have been a lesson made for some of you guys. A karmic lesson because you got the world in the reverse. There's unfinished business because somebody hasn't learned their lesson. Your person's still showing up in the devil energy. But I do see them doing some soul searching, though. So for some of y'all, this, this person here has been in a funky place since you walked away from them. Really trying to stay busy so that they don't have to deal with their problems. But spirit's not letting off of this person. And the reason why spirit is not letting off of this person is because there's a contract and lessons to be learned with the will of fortune and the world and the two of cups. Eight of swords. See, somebody stuck in their head. Oh, person, this person self-sabotages it. You can't, oh, this is a challenging relationship. Now they're, now they're, not only are they stalking you, they stalking the phone until they keep on looking down at their phone to see if you said anything. I feel like y'all done with this dry energy, though, Scorpios. Now they need you to revitalize their soul and bring them back to life with your warm and loving energy. And for some of y'all, you like, no, I'm tired of wasting love on nothing. So they're feeling this cold. They're feeling it now. Two of ones in the reverse. Y'all going to decide on two different things for some of y'all. They're going to try to decide to come back and some of y'all deciding to move on. So they are obsessing over you 
because their happiness is no more. Nine of cups in the reverse. This person could start drinking a lot. Somebody, somebody is drinking a lot to try to wash away their pain or they're drinking a lot to go to sleep because they're up all the time in their head. Ooh, Scorpio, see? See? Because they done lost something. They go to Tower and the Four of Wands, see? So that's how they're dealing with it, working a lot, working a lot and drinking, or they may be smoking a lot of weed. Somebody doing something to go to sleep, I know that much. Because if they don't sleep, they're gonna be up late and they, they're gonna be, you're gonna be on their mind. Now, why is the hierophant here for this person who is secretly crushing on Scorpio? Why is the hierophant here for Scorpio's secret crush? What are they wanting? Who is this Taurus energy? What do they want? A commitment? Like I said, it could have been a spiritual, I mean, it could have been a, a um, for some of y'all, you may have a romantic partner that's checking you out and others may have a major, a major company. A major wealthy company is eyeing you down for your, for some qualities that you have. That's that Ace of Pentacles. Something could be about to get you. You could be getting all, you could be about to get all types of offers. But I feel like the romantic offer is kind of hanging back watching you. But they desire to be with you. But they may be realizing that or feeling like you may have someone else. Three of Pentacles. See, I told you this higher figure represents some type of major brand reaching out to you, Scorpios. Some type of major company. Major company eyeing you down for something that you do, some type of profession. It's the moon. They go to four of wands. King of wands. Queen of pentacles. Page of cups. Seven of pentacles. See, you could have somebody now, they looking at you like they feel like you're marriage material and you guys really can grow and build something together, especially if you're already doing it on your own in the, in the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. The Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles for Scorpio, for the person secretly crushing on Scorpio. Why is this here? The Hierophant, the Three of, three of Pentacles. Why is this here? Is it the, the star or is it temperance? That's temperance. Divine timing, patience. Could be a Sagittarius. Somebody's been waiting to reconcile. See? Could be a, it could be an earth sign, but I feel like you're the earth sign. I feel like you're showing up in this queen of pentacles. They're the king of swords, see? And they go a king of cups right next to that queen of pentacles. See, somebody, somebody probably already in love with you, Scorpios. And if they were holding back and doing all those mind games, look, this in the reverse. They're clearly in love with you. But for some of y'all, y'all done got out y'all feelings because you realize. And you could have somebody that's coming to you with some type of proposition of somebody may come to you with some type of, um, they, they say marriage is a, is a business, Scorpio. Somebody may come to you with some type of pr proposition. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so somebody may, may already be infatuated with you. This could be a lover here, a, a romantic partner that wants to offer some type of relationship, some type of business opportunity, gain something that's fair. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? What's going on with this Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio's secret crush? You got the Ten of Pentacles twice. They go that page of wands again. So it's almost like they go from the first page of wands, you walked away from it. Now they're coming back with the page of wands, but with a better offer, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, they coming, oh, snap. They coming in here to do more because they feel like you deserve it. They go that Empress and the Fool. See? They, somebody realized that you deserve it all, Scorpios. Like I said, because this person is extremely still passionate by, about you and attracted to you. That's why they watching you. That's why they steady keeping tabs. That's why they have not moved on. This person has not moved on. But they are afraid that maybe you are finding love somewhere else. And I feel like somebody here has tried to avoid it. They tried to work it off. They've tried to do everything they can to 
to not want you, but they do. They watch the phone. It's like <laughs> they're watching you and they got a lot of passions. Like they're watching you. They've been wearing a mask with you, not showing true feelings. High personified pretend gaslight. And there it is again. Somebody being pretending that they don't care. See this what they've been doing. Acting like they don't give a F. But here you got the fool card with the world in the reverse. So they whatever they do in their past relationships, they brought it in this relationship because they ain't learned. But I feel like something is changing because you got the hermit card, the two of cups, the magician, the knight of wands, and judgment. Somebody has to really look at themselves. And when they really look at the situation from a higher perspective, somebody realizes, Scorpios, uh, that they can't, they can't move on. Maybe they want to try again if you ain't already got somebody. Because for some of y'all, you may have multiple offers coming your way. Could be an Aries. See? Ten of Swords. I feel like this person may be worried. Once again, for some of y'all, this person is worried that you're going to get everything that they did not give you with that Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like this is what's going to break them. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands. See, you walked away from their Page of Wands, but somebody know as that Empress, you can get it. See, they be feeling like you're going to go start over somewhere else and that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna take a mile, Scorpio. This is what I see. You got a person here who is secretly crushing on you and watching you and stalking you because they are afraid that you're going to find somebody to spoil you and give you everything you deserve them to give you. They're going to see you get it from somebody else. That's their biggest fear, Scorpio. For some of y'all, that's going to make this person go ahead and take actions and come towards you. And other Scorpio, I just feel like they are. I feel like they are. I do. I feel like they're going to eventually come back around because they cannot move on. All right, Scorpio, this your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.